So if you're curious about the Alachua County Schools and what we have to offer here, you're definitely in the right place. In this video, I'm going to share with you some interesting articles and interesting facts that will help you as you relocate to Gainesville, Florida. Hey guys, Donovan here. If you're new to the channel, I am a local real estate agent here in Gainesville, Florida. I put out these videos to share with you exactly what you can expect if you're moving to the area. We talk about things like the best schools, the best neighborhoods, all the fun things there are to do here in Gainesville. If you don't wanna miss a thing, make sure you start by clicking the subscribe button and also click the little bell so you get notified anytime I put out a new video. So one question I get on almost a daily basis is gonna be about the schools in Alachua County and of course within Gainesville. Everyone wants to know that they're gonna be in a good school district and their kids are going to good schools. And there was actually a recent article in the Gainesville Sun that talked about the grading scale and how Alachua County stacks up. So I thought I would share that with you and hopefully it'll provide a little bit of insight of what the schools look like here in Gainesville. So on an annual basis, the Florida Department of Education does grade school districts and individual schools. Now in the year 2021 and 2022, the Alachua County School Board actually dropped to a B level. The prior time the school district had been graded was in 2019 where they did receive an A level. So actually in 2020, the Alachua County School Board opted out of that grading process and they cited due to learning challenges that they did not want to participate in the grading. The challenges they were referring to are actually going to be a large number of absences, both with teachers and students. It also included kids missing school due to illness, personal and religious preferences, transitioning to homeschool, internet connectivity, and a slew of other factors, basically all related to COVID-19. Now the next logical question is gonna be, what are these schools and districts actually being graded on? The two things that the Florida Department of Education are really looking at are gonna be those state mandated tests and how the schools are doing, along with the students' academic grades in the classroom. Now going from an A to a B district is not the worst thing ever, but to help get some perspective, I wanted to share with you what the grades had looked like over the last few years. As you see here, I've got the grades going all the way back to 2010, where over the years, the Alachua County School District has been sort of consistently an A and B level, except for 2013 and 2014, where they did drop all the way down to a C level. Now that we've talked a bit about the entire district, let's look at some individual schools. When it comes to high schools, there are actually only two high schools within all of Alachua County that earned an A rating. That's gonna be the Magnet Program within Lofton High School, along with Buholtz High School that got that A rating. Now this article goes on to mention that multiple high schools actually received an I rating for incomplete. That's gonna include Gainesville High School, Eastside, Santa Fe, and Hawthorne, all received an I rating because fewer than 95% of their students actually took that Florida standardized test, so they couldn't actually be graded because enough of the kids didn't take the test. Now moving on to the middle schools for 2021, 2022, actually no middle schools in Alachua County received an A. There were multiple schools that got a B and you can see some of the grades here, but most of the schools were C level with again, just a couple of B level schools on that middle school range. Now let's jump to elementary schools. Within Alachua County, there are 21 elementary schools and there are actually only three out of that 21 that received an A rating. That's gonna include Hidden Oak Elementary, Talbot Elementary, and High Springs Community School. Now I was actually raised in Gainesville, Florida and a product of the Alachua County School District. We also have three kids that have been in Alachua County schools. But before I jump into some of my personal experiences, down in the description below, you can find this specific article that I'm referencing, along with all of the grades and the schools and all of those details. So make sure you check out some of the links down below. So being born and raised in Gainesville, I did go through the public school system here from elementary to high school, had a lot of great experiences. Now that our kids are going to school, they are actually attending what would be considered one of those A-level schools. And I will say from my personal experience, you know, that's not the whole picture. Just these state grades and these scores does not tell you everything you need to know. One year of just one low score doesn't mean a school is bad. Likewise, having one A year doesn't mean the school is amazing. There are so many different factors when it comes into what makes up a good school, which includes the students and the kids and the families, the parents, 
it's all just one huge pot and you can't consider just these school grades as a end all to be all to deciding which school your children should attend. Now keep in mind the Alachua County School District does allow for zoning exemptions. It's not going to be the most exciting and enjoyable process, but there is an opportunity for you to petition and get into a different school that may be outside of the zone where you currently live. The other factor to consider if you're buying a home in an area and trying to determine the school zone is that these zones can change. There's actually been a lot of discussion recently at the elementary school level. With the new addition of a brand new school on the southwest side of town, there is a chance that the zoning could be changed. So keep that in mind as you're searching for a home. Now, without diving into all of the politics and the behind the scenes stuff that does happen at the school board level, there honestly has been a lot of changes within that office. We've seen the superintendent change over a couple of times, and currently we do have an interim superintendent while they're searching for that new position. We've also seen some changes at the school board member level. And with all of those changes, there has been a lack in consistent leadership, and that is gonna lead to a ripple down effect that we're gonna see across the board. But hopefully moving forward, things are getting back on track and Alachua County can become an A-level school district again. Now I mentioned the zoning exemption as an option to get into different schools, but Alachua County does also have a fair amount of charter and private schools. Now if you're curious about those private school options and charter options, put a comment down below and I'll do a video on that next. Now that you're a little bit more up to date on the Alachua County School District, what you'll wanna do next is go ahead and watch this video where I share with you some tactics and insights on how to do research on individual schools and see what would be the best fit for you and your family.